So John, and I, I can't keep saying so whenever I start the damn video. That's disgusting. Hey guys, welcome to this week's vlog. Thank you for joining us. Hello. Sorry for our appearance. We had seven hours of sleep last night between the two of us. It was a bit of a traumatic night in terms of the function that we did. And we ended up getting home really late. I still had to edit the vlog that went up. If you would like to check that out, it's in the top right hand corner of the screen. So please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. But thank you for joining us for this week's vlog. Please forgive our appearances. We promise we'll look better later on in the vlog. We're on our way through to Hermanus. We decided that we deserved a good lunch based on last night's events. Treat yourself. Treat yourself, exactly. So anyway, that's what we're doing now and we hope that you enjoy this week's vlog and we'll see you guys later on. Okay, so this is Walker Bay. Uh, Walker Bay is a, a breeding ground for the southern right whale. So at some point during winter, I'm not exactly sure what the dates are. They seem to be quite varied, but the southern right whales come into this bay to breed. So you get the mothers and the babies coming very close in obviously given that it's a bay. So they come very close in and you can often see them it's so close in fact that you can actually see their barnacles on the whales. So it's a great, great spot and one of the rare spots in South Africa where this happens. Wild seas, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> it's a wave coming in here. I just feel like we're rather precariously positioned considering we're two incredibly like clumsy, clumsy people, people. yeah. Right on the cliff's edge. I mean, seriously, could we pick a better spot for for two very, very, very clumsy people to <laughs> to be but the benefit of being on the cliff's edge you know with all the downsides the benefit is that you get this view I mean this is incredible it's quite something we've just received a package it's from the crazy store so they very generously have sent us some items to review we have no idea what the package includes so you are opening it with us okay I don't cut through any of the items and I shouldn't. It is a thingamajig. One pair of mop shoe covers. <laughs> Those should be fun. Okay, and we have oh, a packet within a packet. What is it? What is it? Okay, that's the end of the packet. Nothing else in there. A globe jar. Edison never thought of this. What is it? How does it work? We'll have to figure it out. And then we have the thingamajig bookmark. So Talia is an avid reader, so we'll have to try this out. And the monster in the pot ladle. It's a ladle. It's a monster, you see. It looks like the Loch Ness monster. So we'll have to do a review of that as well. Thank you so much to The Crazy Store for sending us these. We will do reviews over the next few weeks. Hey guys, so today is Women's Day and John decided to take me out for lunch, which is incredibly generous. So we decided to come to this restaurant over here. which is called the Sandown Blues Restaurant on the beachfront in Claymont. And they have the most phenomenal gourmet burgers, which we just had. I'm 
hi and that it's Women's Day so happy Women's Day to all the women out there hope you have a fantastic day and that you'll enjoy it as much as I am right now sometimes we have to wonder about people's choices in life like why in the world would you ever choose to paint your house this this color John and I affectionately call this one Carrot House, and I don't think we need to even explain why. And let's just be honest, I don't have anything against orange. That's just really quite a vile color to paint the whole outside of your house. Leave a comment down below if you guys would paint your house that color, and if you wouldn't, leave a comment saying what color you would paint your house. So here I am, trying to watch Sam Harris have an intelligent conversation, and I end up with Boris doing a hostile takeover of my computer. Who knows how many keys are being pressed by how many paws. Boris, this is not okay behavior from a cat. You don't get to just rule the world. And this is what makes life feel great. We're busy sitting here, I'm in my chair, we're having a conversation, a like, conversation about life, love and everything else. And here are the cats joining in, in whatever way they can. Which for Mango is... I don't really know, what is she doing? She sort of just sits on the floor and stares at us, moans at me for a hug or a cuddle. And this is why Talia actually chose Mango, because she did this. Watch this. Look at what she does. And that's what she did in the window at Coors when we first went to go and fetch her. She did that motion and, and then Tali was hooked. Why were you hooked? Oh, she does a little jump and I just... Oh, you cute thing. <laughs> She's quite an aloof cat. She doesn't... She, she isn't very social. She chooses when she wants to be social. Whereas Boris, you can see what he does all day. He's, he's never not around us. Like, he might go outside for maybe 10 minutes in the day, but for the rest he's always sitting on one of our tables or... He's just, he just is a very, very, he just wants attention, I think. Mm -hmm. He just wants to be close to people. Which is strange, because when we found him, he was actually in the back corner of a shed, sitting all by himself. So he actually, he was being very antisocial. Yeah, he was. But look at him now. <clears throat> we love, we really, we really do love rescue cats, because, you know, it's, it's, it's like having a kitten that has just grown up, and had an unfortunate situation happen to them and they they're wonderful because you can actually see their personalities instead of having to wait for them to develop and we feel a very strong connection to to shelter cats or or SPCA cats if you if you will we got these two little hoodlums from but we just we love cats and we love shelter cats and you can see they've just got such wonderful wonderful personalities and they love being around us and I don't feel like they give us any less love than what a cat that you've had from a kitten would ever give you. No, le no less at all. And if we're completely honest, there's no less love we're giving them. No. Look at this cat. Look at him. <laughs> we love you guys. We really do. So every day after lunch, John and I come to our bedroom and we have a bit of a lie down so we can just relax and just chill. And we'll normally play games on our tablets like Best Fiends or something like that. But anyway, one of our local supermarkets is having a birthday special. And in order to win vouchers, you have to play this little game, which is very similar to Flappy Bird. And John is busy playing it right now for about the 10 trillionth time today. And I thought I'd show you guys his struggle. I'm just a little bit locked on. Uh, oh. Duh, green one got me. Score, magic score of 13. Lucky, unlucky, unlucky, clearly. Okay. Going through. Yes, yes, yes. Yep, doing well. Oh, just getting overconfident. A fantastic score of 18. <laughs> we, were saying, we were saying earlier that the people that are winning probably have scores of like two or 300 and we get 18 and we're happy. Oh dear. Uh, this is where not being a gamer definitely doesn't help you. 
<laughs> John and I are busy having some pizza for dinner and I have a little bit of OCD which means that I have to eat my pizza from smallest piece to biggest piece but I always end up with this dilemma when I leave the two biggest pieces for the end and I'm going to show you what the dilemma is and I'd like you guys to comment in the comment section below about what you guys think I should do here. So these are the two pieces of pizza I have left. This piece of pizza <clears throat> is longer over here than this one but this piece of pizza is longer along this side than this one. So I don't know which one technically classifies as the bigger piece of pizza. So I'm going to say this is pizza A, this is pizza B, and based on their sizes, which piece do you guys think is the bigger piece? Comment down below. That's it for this week. We hope you enjoyed our vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And we'll see you guys next week. Same time, same place. Bye. Cheers.